MySQL and MongoDB are two of the most popular database solutions for businesses. MySQL has been an industry leader in the database management solution area since its creation in the 90s. In contrast, MongoDB is much newer to the database scene, having been released in 2009. Both are strong choices for many businesses, but they are ideal for different use cases and sport some unique features that set them apart from each other. So let's take a look at what those differences are and which one might be right for your business. The primary difference between MongoDB and MySQL is the approach each tool takes to storing data. MySQL stores data in a tabular way, sort of like an Excel spreadsheet. When you imagine a database, MySQL's structure is probably close to what you're thinking of. In contrast, MongoDB uses a document-based structure similar to JSON. Documents can have varying structures and are accessed using MongoDB's specialized querying language. Without even getting into the unique features of each one, the differing approaches to how data is stored makes them very different off the bat. MongoDB's document-based approach makes it very flexible. Documents are highly adaptable, so they can be used to meet any business requirements you might have for your data. This flexibility also means that MongoDB is highly scalable. If you're expecting to grow quickly, or if your database needs aren't consistent, MongoDB is an excellent choice. The tabular approach of MySQL also comes with some unique advantages that you should consider. First, tabular data structures are what most people are familiar with. While more and more businesses are using NoSQL databases like MongoDB, there are still far more data professionals that are familiar with tabular databases and MySQL compared to other options. As a result, there are also tons of community resources available for troubleshooting any MySQL issue. Similarly, most data tools have built-in integrations with MySQL, but not necessarily with other database options. When it comes to functionality, it can be pretty easy to choose between MySQL and MongoDB depending on your requirements. If you're looking for high scalability, data availability, and data recovery, MongoDB is a strong choice. You might also consider MongoDB if you want to have existing developers handle your database instead of hiring a dedicated database administrator. MongoDB is very developer friendly, particularly for developers that are intimately familiar with JavaScript. On the flip side, if you don't want to have to manage frequent schema updates or have limited memory for your data, MySQL is preferred. MySQL generally has lower data redundancy and handles complex transactions well by strictly adhering to ACID principles. For small to medium databases that don't need a lot of flexibility, MySQL is a strong choice. Beyond just features though, another factor businesses should consider when choosing a database software is price and support. Both MongoDB and MySQL offer an open source community edition that's available for free as well as more advanced editions that include support for a licensing fee. MySQL is run by Oracle and offers standard and enterprise editions starting at $2,000 annually. These pricing tiers include 24-7 support, consultation, and enterprise security features. For smaller businesses or larger businesses that are willing to devote a lot of resources to database administration, it is possible to get by on the free version of MySQL. For larger businesses with a high volume of sensitive data though, the enterprise security features included in higher pricing tiers of MySQL are essential. MongoDB also offers premium pricing tiers above its free-to-use tier. These tiers start at $57 per month, and buyers can choose between a cloud-based MongoDB implementation or an on-premise solution. One notable difference between MySQL and MongoDB's premium options is that since MongoDB's flagship solution is cloud-based, pricing tiers include storage. You still effectively have to pay for storage with MySQL since you need to have enough memory to host your data, but it's in a more direct way with MongoDB. So even if you have a lot of memory available on premise, if you go with a cloud MongoDB solution, you will have to pay for storage. MongoDB also offers dedicated support for paying customers, one thing to note for free users and paid users alike is that both database solutions have a variety of community-made resources online. MySQL, having been around for longer, has considerably more resources available, but most people will be able to find resources for most of their needs for either solution, unless they have some very specific needs, in which case they might have an easier time finding those resources for MySQL compared to MongoDB. The main consideration you should make when choosing between MySQL and MongoDB should be feature functionality. 
If you are looking for a more traditional SQL database solution, MySQL is a tried and true option that you can't go wrong with. If you want a more adaptable and scalable solution though, MongoDB is the way to go. That said, if you can meet your needs with either software, MongoDB's pricing tiers are a little cheaper, while MySQL has more support resources available from its community. You should also consider which one will be easier to manage for your business. If you already have database analysts, MySQL should be no problem. If you have developers that you want to manage your databases, MongoDB will be quicker for them to pick up. If you still aren't sure which database management tool is right for you, consider checking out some verified reviews on TrustRadius.com. All reviews on TrustRadius are from real reviewers who share their experience based on their use case and history. If you liked this video and you want to see more content like it, consider hitting the subscribe button so that you never miss an upload.